This is going to be the intro video for my 2016 Finish 7 by Spring Seasonal Challenge. And I do have eight products here just because I know that there's one that I might not be finishing. So let me go through and show you what I picked out for this year's challenge. The first product I have here is from Maybelline. This is their Clean Express Makeup Remover. This is almost like a gel. It's a strange consistency, but I have, this is where I'm starting out. There's my marking right there. So um, I do enjoy this. I feel like it's perfectly effective at getting off the makeup from my eyes, but it just feels really weird. So I don't usually reach for this one, but it's been hanging out for a couple months. So I think I need to get on the ball with this one. Then I have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this one's kind of a give me product. Um, there's really not much left in here. When it's standing upright, it's all the way down to the bottom. You can kind of see that line right there, but there's so much along the edges that I can still use. So I'm gonna be using this one for the first little while. This is in shade number 15, which is fair. Then I have a little mini deluxe size sample of these Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blushes from Tarte. This was actually gifted to me from Miley from Juicy Fashion 11. I'll leave her channel name right here and I'll also link her down in the description box. But this one's in the shade Mirage. This one's really pretty. I've only used it maybe four or five times on the cheeks. And this has 1.5 grams of blush in here. So not too much, but a pretty decent amount. Last year's Finish 7 by Spring, I also had a blush. And that one took me a very long time, even though it only had about two grams of product in it as well. So that's a very light swatch of this blush. I just felt like it's light enough that I could mix it with other blushes and do like that ombre three, ombre thing that I did last year where I have a darker shade towards the back and a lighter one in the front, but it's also easy enough to wear on like really light makeup days. So that is it there. Then I have a highlighter. This is the Benefit What's Up highlighter. It's just the little mini deluxe size sample. And I'm starting at this second marking. That's kind of hard to see, but so there is the marking. I might try and figure out a way that's a little bit easier to see that. I have a marking on the very top up here from the makeup products that I wanted to finish off in 2015. And this, I obviously only had that much progress for that challenge. So anyway, I just thought that I could finish this off in, you know, a couple months. So there's that one. I've also really been enjoying this Sephora depuffing gel for underneath the eyes. It's their instant depuffing gel. And I'm over halfway finished up with this already. This was in my December favorites. I really love this product and I put a little mark on the back of where I'm at. So I don't think I'll have any trouble with this one. This one is perfectly fine underneath or over the top of my eye cream so it doesn't mess with my makeup or anything so I really love this stuff and I would like to just finish this off and get the full size. Then I have a lipstick here. This one is from Bite and I picked this up at the 2014 November VIB Rouge sale but this is one of their Luminous Creme Lipsticks in Vouvre and it's just a really light easy pink shade. That is what I have left in there. Decent amount. They don't come with a huge amount of product in the tubes anyway, but there is a little swatch on the back of my hand. It's a really easy light pink shade and it's weird because I noticed that Bite has a lot of warm toned lipsticks. They don't have a ton of cool toned lighter pink shades I noticed, but this is a really nice one if you're in the market for just a really easy pink shade to wear. That's it there. I might put a silver mark on this packaging. I'm not sure yet. Let me know if you can see the marking on here well enough or if I should put a different color Sharpie on there to keep track of it. So anyway, that is where I'm starting with that one. Then this next one here, this is the Lorac Touch Up To Go Concealer and Foundation Pen. And this is just in a very orange shade. This does not match me at all, but I use this as sort of a corrector underneath my eyes. This is in the shade CF5. And I've had this around for a little while. I just thought, you know, it's about time for it to be 
used up. So there is a swatch of the shade CF5. It's really orange compared to my skin tone. So I just found if I put a little bit underneath my eyes before I put on my foundation and before I put on my concealer, it kind of corrects a little bit better because I have really dark under eye circles that just never seem to go away. So that's what this one's used for. I can't really mark this one. I can't see into the packaging. So uh, when it's gone, it's gone. And then the final product is a lip gloss. And I usually steer clear of the squeezy tube lip glosses just because there's so much product in these. Like this one has more than two full-sized buxom lip glosses. The, the amount of fluid ounces in squeezy tubes generally is just outrageous compared to other lip glosses that look like they have more. Anyway, this one is from Urban Decay. I got this one in... I got this one for Christmas in 2014 from my husband, so it's only a year old, but I would like to get it moving along. Um, this one does have 0.34 fluid ounces, and you can see my marking right there on the back. This one's in the shade Drizzle. This is one of Urban Decay's Lip Love Honey Infused Lip Therapy glosses, and I don't think that they are selling these anymore on their website or anything. So I would just like to move it on out since I can't really recommend this product anymore. This one does have a very intense honey scent to it, but I love the way that it looks on the lips and it's not sticky at all. So this is a really nice gloss. I just, I'm just hoping and crossing my fingers that I'll be able to make some pretty decent progress on this one. This one's probably the one that I'm the most worried about, honestly. I'm more worried about this gloss than I am the blush. So anyway, those are my eight products that I picked out for the Finish 7 by Spring. I'm hoping to have two updates up for this challenge before the finale. But anyway, that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.